Hello again and welcome to this week's edition of Nordic Market News. It is April the 20th and we are filming in the studio of Direct on behalf of Infront Finance. Looking at the Nordic markets for the week, all had a positive week with the exception of Copenhagen taking a very small loss. With regards to year to date, Oslo is leading the way at a positive 5.5% while Copenhagen is at the other end of the spectrum with a minus in front at 5.6% down. Monday was surprisingly uneventful on the Nordic markets. The attacks on Syria led by the US, France and the UK last week did not escalate the conflict with Russia and markets remained calm. Norwegian, the airline that is, continued the flight that started last week. IAG, the owner of British Airways, is interested in buying the troubled airline. The stock gained a further 6% on Wednesday also. On Tuesday, Sweden and Helsinki were on the rise. Swedish interim rallied more than 8% after having come to an agreement with Italian bank Intesa San Paolo. Also in Helsinki, Nokia was the winner, climbing more than 5%. While the OBX in total remained unchanged on Tuesday, there were some glimmers of hope for seafood producers as Backer Frost advanced more than 3%. Wednesday was particularly uneventful on most of the Nordic stock markets, at least during the initial few hours during which the Nasdaq experienced technical issues and had to remain closed. On the afternoon, trading resumed on the stock market in Stockholm, Helsinki and Copenhagen. Furthermore, on the OBX, Norsk Hydro gained almost 5% after a buy recommendations from both DNB and Deutsche Bank, whom had attributed the raise partly to the increasing price of aluminium. ABB assumed pole position on the OMXS30 on Thursday after gaining more than 4%. They outperformed the analysts' expectations in their quarterly report. A smaller Swedish company, Evolution Gaming, also posted their quarterly earnings and completely blew analysts' projections out the water and rallied an impressive near 30%. Europris quarterly report also proved impressive. Pareto Securities praised the company's increasing margins and the stock almost gained 5%. However, Danish pharmaceutical company Novo Nordisk were amongst the losers on Thursday. Without any official communication from the company, analysts believe the American market is to blame. Donald Trump is expected to address prices of the medicine world shortly. With just a few hours left of trading on Friday, Swedish Ericsson stole most of the focus in the Nordics. The company is trading more, trading more than 15% higher after posting their quarterly results earlier this morning. Should the stock close at this level, it will be the largest one-day gain by Ericsson in a decade. Continuing with telecoms, Swedish Telia has also showed an impressive quarter and gained investors' attention by launching a generous stock repurchasing program. The stock was trading about 7% higher. So that's all for today. Have a superb weekend, enjoying this glorious sunshine, and see you again next week.